Hello, welcome back. What we're going to do in this session is we're going to take a look at pressure. In particular, the three different types of pressure that we're exposed to in these types of questions in IDC. That is absolute, ambient, and gauge. So we'll look at some of the similarities and differences between them, how to work out questions that we might be asked, and what effect salt water and fresh water has on pressure. So don't go anywhere, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so let's kick things off with this diagram right here. This is just a quick visual representation of the, the earth in terms of diving pressure. So what we have is sea level, then we have everything above sea level, which is the atmosphere, and then we have everything below sea level, which are the depths of the ocean. Now, what we've got to do is first assign the atmospheric pressure. So at sea level, we consider the atmospheric pressure to be one. That's the value we give on it. Why? Because there is one atmosphere of pressure acting down on every object, okay? So the entire atmosphere exerting a pressure, which is one. Now, in terms of the water, every 10 meters of seawater is also equal to one pressure. So 10 meters of seawater has the same pressure as the weight of the entire atmosphere, okay? So in terms of working this out, we basically just divide by 10, okay? So 10 meters of seawater is one atmosphere of pressure. 20 meters of seawater is two atmospheres of pressure. 30 meters is three atmospheres of pressure. Okay, we see where this is going. One atmosphere for every 10 meters, which means 40 and 50, or four and five respectively. And this continues all the way down. Okay, so what we've just done there is we've worked out what gauge pressure means. Think about your gauge in diving. Where does your gauge go? It goes in the water. What it's doing is it's measuring water pressure. So that's all gauge pressure means. It just means the water pressure, okay? So in seawater, nice and simple, it's this relationship of tens, okay? So every 10 meters, one atmosphere of pressure. That's gauge pressure. Now, if we move on to absolute and ambient, it's two different words, two different terms. But in diving terms, we can just consider them to be the same thing, okay? We do not differentiate between these two terms in diving. So absolute and ambient are the same thing. They even have the same start and letter, the letter A, or A meaning all, okay? So all of the pressure. Whereas gauge pressure just deals with the water, absolute and ambient deal with everything. Everything meaning that atmospheric pressure as well, which is the the one. So we know gauge pressure, but if we go to these depths now and we work out the absolute and ambient, well, all it's a case of doing is take the water pressure, then plus one. So at 10 meters, it's one atmosphere plus one. So that would give us two atmospheres. At 20 meters, there are two atmospheres of pressure plus one, so that would be three. At 30 meters, there are three atmospheres of water pressure, plus one. At 40 meters, there are four atmospheres of water pressure, plus the one for the atmospheric, five. And at 50 would be six, and so on. Okay, so simply put, gauge pressure is just water pressure, absolute and ambient pressure or water pressure plus one, okay? All right, so what I've done here is I wrote up 26 meters, which obviously lies between 20 and 30 meters. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna work out what is the absolute, what is the ambient, and what is the gauge pressure at 26 meters. Now, my bit of advice to everybody is whenever you're working out the pressure of something, 
A lot of people who already understand this will just automatically say 30 meters, well that's four. 50 meters, well that's six. 80 meters, well that's nine. And that's not wrong, but it can cause you problems if you don't know how to convert that into fresh water, which is something we'll look at just in a few minutes. Um, so my key piece of advice with this is, whatever the depth is, work that pressure out first, and then add the one if we're talking absolute or ambient, okay? So that would be my advice. Work out the gauge pressure, so water pressure first, then add one if necessary. Okay, so in terms of 26 meters, what we're looking at, remember, is this relationship here. There is one atmosphere for every 10 meters, which means there is 0.1 atmosphere for every meter. One of the benefits of working in metric for this is that relationship, we're working in 10, so it's nice and easy. So 26 meters represents a gauge pressure because we're just talking water, it's one tenth of that. So this is 2.6, make sense? Now, we work this out first and that allows us to work out absolute ambient and gauge. Well, because we've already worked out this part of it, that is the gauge pressure. What is the pressure in the water? So right now we know the gauge pressure is 2.6. Now absolute and ambient, remember we said just before, these are the same thing, or at least treat them as the same thing. There's no differentiation between them. And what absolute and ambient are, they are everything. So they are not just the water pressure, they include the warm atmosphere of pressure as well. So all we do is 2.6 for water plus one, which in this case would be 3.6 for absolute, which is also 3.6 for ambient because they're the same thing. Make sense? Okay, we'll fade out and fade back in with another example. Okay, so really quickly, what we'll do now is look at 12 meters, okay? So 12 meters is gonna rest somewhere in here. So first thing we do is work out the water pressure. So 12 meters is just 1.2. We just divide it by 10. That's how we work that out, okay? So 12 meters becomes 1.2 atmospheres of pressure. It's just a 10th of that. Now, this allows us to work out this nice and easy. Gauge pressure is what we've just done, okay? If we're always working out the gauge pressure, then we're instantly getting that answer. So gauge pressure is 1.2. And then if you remember for absolute and ambient, we just add one to account for the weight of the atmosphere above sea level as well. So 1.2 is gauge, so that means 2.2 is absolute, therefore ambient is also 2.2. Straightforward. Okay, what we'll do now is we'll just mix things up a little bit and then we're gonna take a look at freshwater examples because these figures, they're calibrated to sea level. So therefore, when we make the conversion into freshwater, we have to just tweak this a little bit. Okay, so before we start with that, first thing I wanna do is I wanna take the next one of the kitchen and just show you a quick little experiment. Okay, so come along. Okay, so what we've got here are two glasses of water filled to the same level. Now, this is just fresh water, so we would expect these two glasses to weigh the exact same, okay? Now, if I was to do this. What we've now done is we've added a bunch of salt to this glass, okay? So if we were to now weigh these two glasses, would you be expecting them to be exactly the same as they were before? Or if we think logically, this glass is now probably going to be a tiny little bit heavier because it has all of these salt deposits in it. Okay, so that is why we have to make calculations and differentiations between dealing with salt water and dealing with fresh water. Okay, so like you've just seen there, 
salt water and fresh water have slightly different weights okay so salt water is logically a little bit heavier than fresh water because it has salt in it that means it gives off a little bit more pressure therefore we would expect this relationship to change slightly when we go into fresh water so if we just quickly look again at the relationship between salt water pressure with depth every 10 meters is equal to one entire atmosphere of pressure therefore in fresh water we would logically expect 10 meters of fresh water to be a little bit lighter a little bit less dense okay so therefore it would be a little bit less than one so how do we calculate this well we're going to use a magic number that we've uh, we've sung about in previous episode of 1.03 now all we do is in essence for fresh water still work your gauge pressure out okay because they're nice easy metrics to deal with and then we just divide the number by 1.03 what that's doing in essence is it's taken the salt out of that water therefore reducing the number a little bit so 10 meters of salt water is one atmosphere of pressure now if we divide one by 1.03 what we're doing is taking the salt out of those 10 meters and what that will give you is 0 0.97 okay so that is one divided by 1.03 what we've done there is we've converted the 10 meters of salt water into 10 meters of fresh water so that is the pressure at 10 meters of fresh water if we look at 20 meters okay so what is 20 meters of fresh water well 20 meters we know is two in salt water but we have to remove the salt how do we do that divide it by 1.03 so two divided by 1.03 will give you 1.94 which is a little bit less than the two because the salt has been taken out if we go 30 meters we first say that's three atmospheres of pressure but we need to remove the salt so three divided by 1.03 gives us 2.91 okay same with 40 same with 50 60 70 okay so just to complete this four divided by 1.03 is going to give you 3.88 5 divided by 1.03 is going to give you 4.85 so in each instance to get gauge pressure in fresh water all we do is we take the salt water example because it's very easy to work out and then we just divide that number by 1.03 which in essence is just removing the salt okay now if we look at absolute and ambient we just do the same thing as before we first work out the gauge pressure and then if we need the absolute or ambient what do we do we just add the one because so far this is just water pressure okay so work out the water pressure then add one if needed so 0 0.97 becomes 1.97 1.94 becomes 2.94 2.91 plus 1 becomes 3.91 and so on 4.88 and 5.85 okay so in all instances what i always tell everyone to do is work out your gauge pressure first then add one if needs be okay and that's how we work out salt water and fresh water equivalents use the gauge pressure then we add one if needs be and that's all there is to it okay okay so really quick just to cap things off what we're going to do now is we're going to look at an exam question that encompasses everything we've just looked at so the question is at a depth of 34 meters of seawater the ambient pressure is 
the absolute pressure is and the gauge pressure is okay so we need to work out what all three pressures are at 34 meters of seawater okay so if we remember the first thing we have to do is work out what the gauge pressure is so 34 meters okay so remember there is one atmosphere for every 10 meters which means there is 0.1 of an atmosphere for every one meters it's just divided by 10. so 34 meters means the pressure is 3.4 okay so 34 meters we're dealing with 3.4 that's the gauge pressure okay so nice and easy to work that out to begin with and it's also partly answered the question we can say that that is 3.4 now we also need to know absolute and ambient the two a's remember what we said there treat them the same begin with a a means all so it's the gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure so we know gauge pressure is 3.4 and we already know atmospheric pressure is 1 okay so it's 3.4 plus 1 so that would mean 4.4 in both cases because absolute and ambient is the same thing okay so what I'll do right now is just give us a second we'll fade in and fade out this time and then we'll have a fresh water example to work out all right, here we are. All I've done for the sake of this question, I've just changed the salt water to fresh water. That way you can use it as a direct comparison to the question that we've just done, okay? So what we need to do is work out what is the absolute ambient and gauge pressure at a depth of 34 meters of fresh water. So we begin as always by working out the gauge pressure. So we're at a depth of 34 meters, therefore the pressure there is 3.4, okay? Remember one atmosphere for every 10 meters 0.1 atmosphere for every one meter okay it's that relationship of tens so 34 meters is 3.4 however this is salt water the question is asking fresh water so we have to make that conversion we have to take the salt out of the water so remember we divide by 1.03 so we take 3.4 then divide it by 1.03, which will give us 3.30. In essence, it's a slightly smaller number because what we've done is we've now taken the salt out of that water. So we now have our fresh water gauge pressure of 3.3. So that partly answers this question, 3.3, okay? Now, to work out absolute and ambient, remember it's the same thing, and this means everything. So we have the gauge pressure, we now just have to add one to that to get the absolute and the ambient pressure, okay, the, the total pressure. So we just add one to the 3.3, which gives us 4.3. And because absolute and ambient are the same, we get the same reading there, so 4.3, okay? Um, and that's it for pressure okay so just remember the first thing we want to do is always work out what the gauge pressure is and there is one atmosphere for every 10 meters then if we're talking absolute or ambient we just add one at the end okay always work the gauge pressure out then add one if necessary in the case of fresh water work your gauge pressure out then divide it by 1.03 to in essence take that salt out okay if you've got any questions or comments feel free to send a message and i'll help talk you through it okay for now goodbye